Hi there, how are you doing? I have to say I've been sitting on this idea for quite some time, <laughs> literally had a video filmed but could not find the time to edit it, <laughs> you know, busy busy days. Let me explain what you will see here, big voluminous hair tutorial, key factor in this is the blow dry, the setting, that is my go to setting if my client has dead straight hair, that is not the easiest to style but I need volume and hold for the whole day, also I will do this setting for evening hairdos that are more to say soft texture could be looking a bit frizzy-ish i have prepped the hair with oribe brilliance and shine like moisture cream from mids to ends and to get the texture and hold tiggy queen of a day root spray i do not only use it in the roots but in the mids uh, as well now once the product is in use your brush to brush it in it will evenly distribute the product leaving no product buildup in unwanted areas once that is done do a rough blow dry yes i know you see me you saw me using a round brush there that's an old habit from salon work but that was just the roots and i did work around a bit with it and then started rough blow dry to get more volume you need a rough blow dry because that will build your hair up once hair is 90% dry, I started teasing it in sections. Section sizing is about the size of the, the like the thickness of Dyson Airwrap, 32 millimeter barrel, uh, give or take. It can be a bit bigger, but just a little. And the top part is directed back, sides will go down and the back will go back in brick pattern. So we won't get any gaps. To have an extra heat activated hold, I spray each section with L'Oreal Touch Anti-Frizz Hairspray. Why I say heat activated? Because hairspray holds the hair better with heat. But this is a topic we need to discuss a different time. And now rolling. Using with Dyson Air Rub and following the teased pattern, I will secure the first two top sections as they come from the barrel. But then I will use Velcro rollers. That is to set the hair ends in a bit larger wave and different sizes. Now you might start to think, why on earth did I tease all that? all of them and now heat and etc the teas hairspray and heat is there so i get a natural crimped effect those who have done bridal hair hairstyling know that the hair crimper is a great tool to get loads of volume that will help with the styling but it does take so much time and what would you do if you have forgotten to take it with you and you have an important hair updo to do well then you will do this instead and you will get a less damaging crimped effect that will still do the same job Okay, less physics, more hair styling. When you're finished with all the rollers, let the hair to cool down, minimum of 10 minutes. Cooling down is important because the cuticle, uh, with heat, cuticle opens and then cools down, it closes. So setting means longer, belt hair, hold. Again, I stepped in the physics field, pardon me. Okay, brush out each section separately. Here I would recommend using a detangling brush. This one is my favorite. Never lets me down, but it is so old that I cannot even recall where I bought it. To get the tees out faster, start from underneath the section middle and work your way to the roots. After everything is brushed out, comes the grating part. I love first brushing the hair all around the place, play, paying attention to where some curls are forming. Hair ends start to show some play, some question marks, as I like to call them. Some areas will start to lift and open up. Now the curl pattern with rollers going down will help in a more visible cheekbone and an open ear. That gives a more facelifting effect and everybody loves it. I brush the sides, then I will work separately on the top section. That is on money making piece, right? Again, brush the hair and listen to it. Not literally, but you know, it will show you what it wants to do. Use setting clips for different areas to hold statement waves in place. And once I have achieved the look I like, kind of uh, work my brain over it, it will set uh, I will set it with spray. Top part again separately, sides first, a lot of brushing, smoothing, lifting, <laughs> arm day in gym indeed it is. And then the top part. Crazy important. Please when you make hair, pay attention to your client's reflection in the mirror and check what areas with root volume look good. What curl will do if it is laying on the face like that or the other way. You can easily do that before you start using hairspray as then fixing something will be a bit mission impossible. You know the drill, not to mention ask them questions about what they like 
about the look or dislike because they will wear the crown. And once the client's happy and feels confident, the selfies will be the best advertisement for your work. And last but not least, if you enjoyed this video and learned something new, leave a like. If you did not, still leave a like. <laughs> Comment your thoughts on this place blow dry to get a soft crimped effect and thoughts on the finished look. Again, have an amazing rest of the day and I'll see you soon. Ciao!